Hello, today I'd like to do a review of my Racer's Measurement Systems MMS Complete. Uh, what this is, is a handmade purpose-built measuring tool. And the reason that they call it complete is because it does three, three separate measurements. It does rotor measuring, so you can test your rotors and your brushless motors. Uh, motor measuring, so you can test the resistance of your stator. And it another measurement called run and that's for a kv and rpm measurement now this is the base unit now today we're going to focus on the the stator measurement so the mms part of this so that's the base unit that you get in the box now for the stator measurement we need this additional attachment and i'll just pull it out here so you can see now what this does this is what the part that we're going to use to actually measure the, the resistance in the stator. Now the so what is this? This it's a it's a purpose built um, measuring tool. Uh, the motor measurement part, the stator measurement, is a very fine uh, ohm meter. It can measure between one milli ohm up to one ohm of resistance. So it, so most most of your multimeters can't do that low of a measurement. So to connect it up, there is quite a few wires involved. First, we connect the base unit to the, the resistance attachment by way of a small headphone cable. So that's done. And then the next part you'll notice is that it does require additional um, power. It needs a, at least a 12-volt, 2-amp power supply. I'm going to use my bench power supply. It is... 12 volt 575 watt which is about 48 amp which is well well with um, enough power to do what we need and you just connect that in here right now the power supply is off but it does create all these you know quite a few wires okay so to get this get this going I'll plug in the power supply there will be it does have a fan so we'll, we'll deal with that okay so we'll just turn it on and we'll take a look at what we have available in the base unit. Now in the base unit it has select a mode, I'm pressing the MMS, it says MMS mode selected, and it says plus one milliohm, so that's its factory uh, setting. With this you can test one pole of your stator, or two poles of your stator. And what I mean by that is, here's an example stator I have, it's a 17.5 stator, it's not in the can. Uh, this is an older stator, so it'll have fairly high resistance. But if you were going to use, I'll just flip it to one pole. And how you would test that is you would clip into the the collector disc at the bottom. As we wound up a bit, so e either one you just clip into that, and then clip into one of the poles. Or one of the solder solder joints, and you can see that that reads 22.1 milliohms. So for that single coil, uh, it's 22.2. Now, if this was in a motor and you don't have your motor apart, you would flip it to two pole, and then just measure on the solder ends, and that would measure through one of the coils across the collector ring back up to the other coils and you can see that this measures 22.2 across two coils. Um, so typical use you would test one coil, there's, there's three coils in it so you test one, test the other one and then test the third one and you could see if if there was a coil uh, bad. Um, other uses for this is that um, you might have a couple of motors that you want to test and choose between. But here we'll do a little test. I have a, a TSR 17.5 and I have an, an R1 17.5 and let's just say that that we had these two motors and we were trying to decide which one to use. So I'll just test the quickly on two pole the motors together. I'll just connect on the solder tabs. And you'll see that connecting to the tabs is a pain. 
but it requires a little bit of frigging at times. That's what I do notice about the, the clips. Although they do seem to be fine ended, they don't clip on very well. Uh, so you can see in this motor, 17.9 milliohms across the two poles or the two coils. And we'll just test the TSR 17.5. This is the the second version of this motor that they brought out. There's three of them all together. And I'll just clip into this one. Now this one here is 18.4. So in this case, we could see that uh, this, the, the TSR motor is a little higher resistance than the R1. So what? Why is that important to know? Well, with um, with resistance, resistance plays a a very high part into the efficiency of, of your electric motor. So in the, this case you will, you're trying to find the lowest resistance motor you can because if it's high resistance you get higher heat than a low resistance. Now you also get a bit more power out of a low resistance motor. So in this case if I if I had to choose between the two of these for my A-Main final I would probably use the R1 just because I see that it is lower resistance. So that concludes the MMS Complete. We've seen in a previous video the rotor measurement. Now we've seen the stator measurement. And, and uh, stay tuned for, for the next video.